Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Scott Atwood, and this is my review of my brand new Water Buffalo Leather Lined Wide Margin Text Only. This Bible is incredible. Comes in this nice two piece box. There's the number, uh, the 390 RL wide margin water buffalo. Nice two piece box from Church Bible Publishers. All right, let's take a look. This leather is by far my favorite it's amazing it is truly done well this is done by uh, double a leather and it is really done well I did see an imperfect part, which makes it very cool to me. <laughs> I like if it was perfect, it's not handcrafted. Uh, this is a very soft. It's like marshmallow soft um, leather, by far the nicest leather I own. And I've got uh, I've got lamb skin. I got top grain cowhide. I've got uh, their iron calf skin, and uh, by far the nicest. You're not going to scratch this up. This is very durable. Okay, let's take a look. Edge lined. It's not uh, stitched. I would assume they glue that uh, on, but it, it's it's not going anywhere, I don't think. Edge lined, Church Bible Publisher quality. Uh, this Bible is a uh, was a hundred and twenty five dollars, and then with the shipping, it only came up to. Uh, 129 that's when I received it Easter uh, it's got some card stock at the front it's exactly like my uh, my text only only it's got the wide margins very very nice uh, wide margins a little different uh, than my other wide margins and I'll show you that here in a minute I don't know if I like it better or not yet but we'll see I'm definitely going to be using this you got your family records your children your marriage if you're familiar with the it's the basic same as the all of them if you're thinking about a Bible and you're going to spend $70, $80 on a premium Bible and can afford it, uh, I would encourage to go with this Water Buffalo cover. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, just save a couple extra weeks, and uh, that's what I had to do. I had to put away a little bit each week. <laughs> and uh, there's the number again. Church Bible Publishers. As a dedication to uh, King James, translator to the reader, uh, I would encourage a anyone to read that. I've been through it a couple times. Look at those margins, y'all. Wow. It is something else. I don't know if I'm going to like the wet. Uh, all my wide margins have a 
wide margin on the inside and out. This basically just has a real wide one on the out and then a, on the top and bottom. So if I'm taking notes on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the notes up here or down here for this side. And then, of course, this side I will just write out next to it. I kind of wish they would have centered it a little more and gave you a wide margin in the middle, but we're going to see how that works out. All right, basically, now it says, that's an inch and five-eighths solid. And in the description they got at the bookstore, it says an inch on the top, but I actually measured an inch and a quarter or an inch and an eighth. Um, so it's even, this is my Ruckman and it's even wider margins, but see how they got the margins on the inside? I kind of like that a little better, but I can get used to this. The font is larger it's darker. It's got that real nice dark uh, font. It's the same uh, text as their uh, hand size with just the wide margins. Alright, let's see here. I got nine and seven eighths. By. Hold it still. Nah. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. Six and three quarters. It's an inch and a half thick. And leather is wonderful. It's a text only, no references uh, at all, no notes. You got the notes up top, and uh, I really like this text, the, the boldness of it. This paper, yeah, this paper in this wide margin seems to be A little bit thicker than uh, that one. I haven't marked in it yet, so I mark my Bibles with pencils and colored pencils. That way I can erase and they don't bleed through at all. A lot of people use those uh, micro pens. I don't know much about it. Uh, pencil works fine with, for me. All right, it is a red letter text. I wish they would have just moved that a little bit further, even if it didn't have the great big wide one. But they didn't. There's your red letter. I got the fan blowing because it's warm in Georgia. King James text, of course, that's all they make there. Uh, they are a ministry, so if you do buy a Bible from them, I would encourage supporting them. You know, even with $5 or so would really help. You'd be surprised how they can use that. They give Bibles to uh, people in Africa and stuff. Just give them away, so praise the Lord. All right. At the back, we got a concordance. Pretty good sized concordance. I found, now that I'm getting a little more savvy uh, with my phone computer, 
I've downloaded the strong concordance on it, so I don't really use uh, the concordance in the Bible much anymore. I just go right to it. It's quicker <laughs> to go right to the computer, but uh, it's nice to have one in there. Yeah, it's a big one. And then you got the map index. Your uh, Cambridge maps. No cross. Wait a minute. No crossing of the Red Sea. Wow. Very colorful maps. Fifteen of them. What I like about this is you can actually read this one. I've got one uh, from them. I think it's the the little one, the cameo, and it's real hard for me to read. You can read that. You got some card stock in the back. It is Smith Sewn, Smythe, or whatever you call it. Sewn, and they use that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. See how thick that uh, string is? I like the. I love Church Bible Publishers. I think they're the best. Uh, probably, I don't have any Cambridge or uh, Oxford. Well, I do have an Oxford, but for the price, you're not going to beat it. This is like marshmallow, folks. It's got three uh, three eighth ribbons, which three is plenty. Two is plenty for me. I don't I don't use them, and uh, they're wider. They're the wider. These are the uh, the thinner uh, ribbons. These are really nice. They feel real nice, and they're extra long. It's a beautiful Bible. You got raised hubs. Five raised hubs. Holy Bible. Authorized King James. Church Bible Publishers. This is the Cranberry. Uh, but what a beautiful little Bible. Alright folks, that's about it. It's a... Uh, even with the shipping included, it was $129, so I don't think you're going to beat the price for that kind of leather, the leather line. All right, Lord bless you, and remember, it doesn't matter what kind of cover you got on it. You can get you a dime store Bible for a dollar, but read it. It's the word that means the most. All right, Lord bless you, and... Please read your Bible. Amen.